Imagine delving into the shadows of history, where the air is thick with the whispers of devastating plagues that have plagued humanity for centuries. Picture the ominous specter of the Black Death sweeping through medieval Europe, or the relentless grasp of the recent global pandemic shaping our present. In this suspenseful exploration, uncover the origins, impact, and enduring lessons of the top 10 worst plagues in human history. Brace yourself for a gripping odyssey into the records of pandemics that have left an indelible mark on our world, revealing tales of both despair and resilience. The Bubonic Plague, the Black Death, unleashing a reign of terror in the 14th century. The Bubonic Plague, also known as the Black Death, is one of history's most notorious killers. This relentless force of destruction originated in Asia and swiftly spread to Europe through merchant ships carrying infected rats. The plague-causing bacterium, Yersinia pestis, was primarily transmitted to humans via the bites of infected fleas living on these rats. The name Black Death originates from the grim symptoms displayed by those infected. High fever, aching limbs, and vomiting of blood were all hallmarks of the disease. Most notably, victims developed buboes, or large, swollen, and painful lymph nodes, which turned black due to internal bleeding, hence the name Black Death. The plague wiped out an estimated 75 200 million people across Europe, a staggering 30% to 60% of the continent's population. Towns and villages were decimated, families torn apart, and social order collapsed under the weight of such immense tragedy. It was a devastating epoch that scarred the face of medieval Europe. The Spanish Flu, a pandemic of proportions. The Spanish Flu, rearing its deadly head in 1918, held the world hostage in the throes of World War I. An estimated one-third of the global population was infected, with death tolls ranging from 20 to 50 million, some estimates even reaching 100 million. Unlike other influenza viruses, which predominantly claimed the lives of the very young and the elderly, the Spanish Flu preyed mercilessly on healthy young adults. Its gruesome symptoms included fever, nausea, and severe pneumonia, often turning the patient's skin blue from lack of oxygen. The pandemic lasted until 1920, leaving in its wake a world irrevocably changed. While the origins of the virus are still debated, with Spain, France, and the United States all suggested as possible ground zeros, its impact is undisputed. The Spanish flu stands as one of the deadliest pandemics in human history, a stark testament to the rampant power of a virus left unchecked. Plague of Justinian, an empire's downfall. Striking in the 6th century, the Plague of Justinian is named after the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, who ruled during the plague's outbreak. Originating from China and Northeast India, it swiftly made its way through the Mediterranean, transported by black rats aboard grain shipments. The plague was caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, the same pathogen responsible for the Black Death. Its symptoms were horrifying and included fever, delirium, and swollen and painful lymph nodes, or buboes. Recurring in waves over the next two centuries, the plague decimated the Byzantine Empire, killing an estimated 25 to 100 million people, up to half of the world's population at the time. It has been argued that this plague's impact weakened the Byzantine Empire, making it easier for the Muslim Arabs to conquer parts of it later. Thus, the plague of Justinian is not only a chilling example of the destruction wrought by disease, but also a stark reminder of how a pandemic can change the course of history. The HIV-AIDS pandemic, a contemporary catastrophe. First identified in the early 1980s, HIV-AIDS remains one of the most devastating pandemics of our time. This virus attacks the immune system, leaving those infected vulnerable to other diseases. It spreads primarily through unprotected sex, sharing of drug needles, or from mother to child during birth. The disease, which initially went unrecognized, quickly spread globally, leaving destruction in its wake. As of 2020, more than 38 million people worldwide are living with HIV, and over 32 million have died of AIDS-related illnesses since the start of the epidemic. The tragedy of HIV-AIDS is further amplified by the social stigma associated with the disease, leading to discrimination and isolation of patients. Despite great strides in developing antiretroviral therapy, which allows people with HIV to lead long and healthy lives, access to these life-saving drugs is not universal. This pandemic continues to rage on, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, which bears the brunt of the epidemic. The HIV-AIDS pandemic is a chilling reminder of our ongoing vulnerability to new and deadly diseases. 
the third pandemic, bubonic plague redux, re-emerging with a vengeance in the late 19th century. The third pandemic was yet another bout of the deadly bubonic plague, thought to have originated in Yunnan, China in 1855. The plague swiftly spread to other parts of Asia, Africa, the Americas, and Australia thanks to burgeoning global trade. Infected fleas and rats hitching rides on steamships and railways enabled the rapid, worldwide dissemination of the disease. In India alone, the plague reclaimed around 12 million lives, and globally the death toll exceeded 15 million. Stricter quarantine measures, improvement in public health infrastructure, and scientific advances in the understanding of the disease eventually brought the pandemic under control by the mid-20th century. However, sporadic plague outbreaks continue to this day, particularly in rural and semi-rural areas. This episode in our history highlights the continued threat that diseases like the bubonic plague can pose, even in our modern age. The Antonine Plague, Rome's Nightmare, marking the downfall of the Golden Age of the Roman Empire, the Antonine Plague, also known as the Plague of Galen, struck in 165 AD. It is believed that the disease, likely smallpox or measles, was brought back to Rome by soldiers returning from campaigns in the Near East. The plague tore through the Roman Empire for nearly 15 years, claiming the lives of up to 5 million people, including Emperor Lucius Verus. Symptoms ranged from fever and sore throat to skin eruptions suggestive of smallpox. The plague's long-lasting impact severely strained Rome's economy and military, weakening the empire's stronghold and leaving it vulnerable to attack. The Antonine Plague underscores how diseases can not only decimate populations, but also lead to the decline of powerful empires. The effects of this plague continue to serve as a chilling reminder of how rapidly infectious diseases can spread and disrupt societal structures. The Asian Flu, a modern menace, in the winter of 1957, the world was introduced to a new foe, the Asian flu. First detected in East Asia, this pandemic took a brutal toll on the world's population in the span of just two years. It is believed to have originated from a mutation in wild ducks, combining with a pre-existing human strain, creating a potent H2N2 subtype of the influenza A virus. Quickly gaining traction, the Asian flu spread across continents via transportation networks, with the United States reporting its first cases within months of the initial outbreak. With symptoms ranging from chills and fever to aching muscles and pneumonia, the Asian flu didn't discriminate, infecting people of all ages. This lethal flu was responsible for an estimated 1 to 2 million deaths worldwide, with over 116,000 deaths reported in the United States alone. Despite its havoc, one silver lining emerged from this catastrophe. It spurred the global health community into action. The pandemic led to an intensified effort to create a vaccine, which was successfully distributed within less than a year of the outbreak, marking a significant achievement in public health response. The Russian Flu, Europe's Epidemic Sweeping across Europe in the late 19th century, the Russian flu became a stark illustration of how infectious diseases can quickly spread. The epidemic broke out in 1889, beginning in Central Asia and quickly making its way to Russia. From there, it rapidly spread throughout Europe, reaching as far as North America and Australia. Symptoms of the Russian flu were typical of influenza, including fever, fatigue, and respiratory complications. The illness was particularly severe in the elderly, leading to a high number of fatalities in this age group. The spread of the Russian flu was facilitated by the increasing interconnectedness of the world. The advent of railway networks made it easier for the disease to cross borders, demonstrating how advancements in transportation technology can inadvertently aid the spread of disease. While the exact death toll remains unknown, it's estimated that millions lost their lives to this brutal influenza outbreak. The Russian flu serves as a potent reminder of the relentless pace at which diseases can travel and the profound impact they can have on populations worldwide. The Yellow Fever Epidemics, America's Affliction Yellow fever, a deadly disease spread by mosquitoes, wreaked havoc across the Americas from the 17th to the early 20th centuries. Its symptoms, including fever, nausea, and jaundice, which gave the disease its name struck fear into the hearts of populations from the United States to the Caribbean and Central and South America. Particularly deadly outbreaks, like the 1793 Philadelphia epidemic, left cities deserted and economies in ruin as people fled in panic. The disease had a particularly high fatality rate, with up to half of those infected in severe outbreaks succumbing to the disease. 
Yellow fever, despite being mostly eradicated today due to effective vaccines, still remains a risk in some tropical areas. The terror it incited across the Americas serves as a stark reminder of the devastation that diseases spread by vectors like mosquitoes can cause, highlighting the importance of vector control in disease prevention. Ebola, on the radar again. Amidst the relentless march of infectious threats, Ebola emerges on the radar once again. A formidable disease, Ebola, caused by the Ebola filovirus, boasts death rates averaging 50%, ranging from 25% to 90%. Discovered in 1976, its origins trace back to bats, considered the likely natural reservoir. Transmission occurs through direct contact with infected individuals, animals, or contaminated objects. Symptoms, appearing two to 21 days post-exposure, encompass fever, severe headaches, and internal bleeding, often culminating in death. The largest outbreak struck from 2014 to 2016, with over 28,000 cases and 11,000 deaths reported. Though the WHO declared Liberia Ebola-free in 2016, sporadic outbreaks persist, exemplified by Uganda's 2022-2023 episode. The risk remains in regions with weak health systems and prevalent wild animal carriers. The FDO-approved Ervebo vaccine and the antiviral treatment in Mazeb, offering a glimpse of hope against this relentless adversary. Thank you for joining us on this profound exploration of the worst plague in human history. If you crave more historical insights, like, comment, subscribe, and stay curious for our upcoming expeditions into the fascinating tapestry of our past.